Hello badminton fans and welcome to Badminton Racket Reviews 2019 test session and we are kicking off this session, this session even with racket number 617. It's been a long session, you know, this session, the November, December 2018 test session, I think there was 26 rackets tested. This time we have tested 48 rackets. It's taken forever, so apologies to get these to get these videos out, but we had to get the ease and updated first so our members get to see the information. And then obviously we worked on these videos for the general population. So we are doing a test today on this. This is the Adidas, yes, Adidas Calcul. K-A-L-K-U-L A5. So that must be a little bit of a surprise because Adidas have been out the scene in terms of badminton rackets for quite some time, but they're now looking to make a return, and I can tell you straight away that their rackets, their current range is a much, much stronger, resilient, and better effort than their initial range. If you remember the uh, Duo Force, there was Adi Power, Adi Zero Power, Adi Zero Pro, stuff like that in the first range. This range is then latest range we have been given five of their rackets to test um, by adidas who are very keen to explore the uh, potential of their current range and see how it stacks up against the competition so the adidas calcul well let's start with the specifications according to adidas and then compare them to the e-zone uh, spec spe specification testing Right, so I can see here on the shaft, it says it's a even balanced racket. So it has six dots, seven dots, sorry, with a dot directly at number four. So we're not talking head heavy, we're not talking head light, we're talking even balanced. And it's saying that the flex of the shaft is towards stiff. So in terms of balance, the E-Zone balance test shows this racket to be a check that uh, towards the head as opposed to even just slightly towards the head um, the flexibility on, on this racket the e-zone testing shows it to be medium flex so um, yeah that's pretty comparable now the weight of the racket uh, is 83 plus or minus 2 grams the e-zone testing show this rack shows this racket to weight 88 grams now in terms of design well uh, I don't think to start with it is the design is inspiring certainly not 130 pounds worth uh, inspiring the racket whole racket range does have three stripes from Adidas which we've seen on all of their products or a lot of their products um, it's a, certainly the paint quality is really nice uh, it feels really well finished, all the text is really well finished, but just the colours and the graphics are fairly basic in my opinion. But that's my opinion, you go on now and have a look at these close-up uh, pictures that we've taken and see what you think for yourself. Okay, so now we've been through the specifications, let's now move on to the Racket E-Zone. Okay, so before we start our E-Zone testing, what do you need to know about how we test our rackets? Well, first of all, we use the same shuttles. The Yonix AS30 is on all tests. We string, restring all of the rackets with Yonix BG65 at 25 pounds tension. And it's the same player taking all of the shots. Right, now you have some basic understanding of how we test. Let's move on 
to the smash test. The smash shot that you're seeing here and for all of the rackets we've tested within Badminton Racket Reviews E-Zone, uh, we take generally six shots. We take the two highest uh, racket uh, shuttle speeds and we average those to give us a uh, overall speed. If those two uh, if those two readings are not within a certain percentage of each other, we then retake the entire test. This shot measures the shuttle speed uh, coming off the racket head and also if you go across to the E-Zone you'll see a picture similar to the one you're looking at on the screen now which accompanies every single racket within the E-Zone so that's nearly 650 or more rackets with this kind of smash JPEG showing you the racket head speed, the shuttle speed, the distance and the approximate repulsion of the racket. Right, our first test in the E-Zone is the smash test. Let's do it now. Okay, it's time now for a E-Zone maneuver test. The maneuver shots was designed to tell us about the racket's acceleration abilities, its ability to shift from one direction to the other or shift quickly from nothing to full speed. It also tests the racket's um, aerodynamics. In this test, the player is sitting still with the racket and once the shuttle is fired, which we, and we measure the shuttle speed to ensure we have uh, consistency within the tests, so it's coming at the same speed all the time, or roughly the same speed as, as, as much as we can control anyway. Um, and then the player reacts once the shuttle is fired to hit the shuttle, and we are measuring the head speed of the racket during that test. Right, so the smash test and maneuver test are done. Let's now do an E-Zone control test. The E-Zone control test is a simple test. It's, uh, we've, we've had a lot of comments about this test. Uh, the first thing you should know is that 14 shots are in total are taken, not just what you see on camera. Um, the player is aiming for the green bucket which scores the highest, the grey bucket scores slightly less than anything in the net or out scores nothing at all. Now the same rules apply on this test as they do on any other court test, it's the same shuttle, it's the same string, same tension, same player. Um, now we have um, retaken the test with the same rackets to see what kind of variation we get and we generally find that the results are within 10 to 12 percent of each other so the, the test is not that bad and it is generally very hard to come up with a control test uh, that's better than this. We've tried. So, but if any of you have any suggestions on how we should proceed with control tests in the future, please do give constructive answers that are helpful. So what do we think of this racket? Well, I certainly don't think it's worth £130 in terms of performance. I think that is going into all sorts of different territory where people are expecting really high spec rackets. However, this racket, um, it certainly felt light to use. Uh, it, it flows through the air reasonably well. It feels quick. Um, 
but to summarize the racket i can't say to you it does any one thing amazingly well and i cannot also say to you it does any one thing amazingly badly this racket really is across the board okay at most things it's okay at most things the only thing is i'm not sure 130 pounds people want just okay i think there's a lot of rackets on the market for a lot less money and some for more money that do a better job in certain areas than this racket does um, so if you're an avid avid adidas fan you want the adidas band you trust them you want the quality you're not going to be super excited buying this and you're not going to be super underwhelmed either it's just going to be yeah, it's okay it plays and that really is the truth if you want a real real deep look into this racket and you want to see the full review uh going into real detail where we're on court uh, we're testing the racket you're seeing it in action you're talking and, and i'll be talking through the exact points on how it feels on overhead shots drive shots control shots smash shots then you need to go over to the racket e zone and sign in there and go across to the adidas uh, go into the filter adidas find the racket and you'll see a full video reviewing this racket there now for those of you who have no idea what I'm talking about when it comes to the E-Zone, um, there will be a short video at the end of this video highlighting what the E-Zone is all about and what it does. For those of you who are familiar, I just want to say thanks a lot for all the support. I mean, it is every time we make videos, we have a new session, Bam Track and Review has grown. It's grown in where it's reaching around the world. It's grown in terms of its support. Um, we're very open to, we're not um, people who believe we know everything. We're really happy that we get so much feedback from members. We get so much uh, feedback on YouTube about people's experiences with rackets and how some people love some rackets, how people hate some rackets. It's all awesome stuff. We, we know this is what it's all about. It is really about promoting the sport, encouraging people to play badminton and making, giving people a more giving people the opportunity to be more informed on which racket they're buying. So keep up the support. It's been awesome, the movement is growing. Press the like button, share the video, and thanks again for tuning in today. And we will now move across to the short video about what the E-Zone is all about. If you already know, if you're already a member, don't worry about it, go on to the next video. Thanks again, see you soon.